Welcome to, uh, title, title, still don't really have a title, the week, second go at this, and I spend most of the day trying to understand why the camera is not connecting, uh, I just gotta do with what I got, I guess, what's been happening, Borderlands 3 has been unleashed, slightly earlier than I'd initially researched, and it takes its natural slot in Twitch's top 10, dare I say even top 5, implementing new opportunities for viewer-streamer interactivity. Streamers get certain bonuses in the game, like being mailed loot, and the viewers get bonuses for watching and interacting. It's a fun win-win. Fortnite adds two new or altered POIs. Greasy Grove unfreezes unfreezes in a taco fiesta, occasionally forcing players in the area to literally stop everything except move and dance, while Moisty Meyer revives within Paradise Palms, creating Moisty Palms. Appropriate for the paranoia one should get, as every object could be a player crouched and ready to right-click on your head. The community seems to bounce between two ideals on this. This is stupid, or this doesn't bother me. I was expecting to move away from Fortnite, but as this year progresses, checking in on Fortnite has become increasingly interesting. Each addition seems to garner lots of negativity that quickly dissipates into normalcy over the following week or so, posing possible threats to its player base and popularity. Can the viewership titan maintain its popularity, or will it slowly begin to fall closer to obscurity? Then, how fast can it fall, or can it regain lost ground? We'll keep taking notes as Season 10 continues to roll out. Hearthstone is preparing for their solo adventure, pumping hype, revealing certain treasures and buffs heroes can collect during the adventure. Solid resources on this and more Hearthstone are channels like Regis Kilbin, providing more depth and insight. Go check them out. Um... That is it for the weekly bookmark in gaming. We spent more time than we should on an ocean. With the excellently detailed guidance of the channel noted somewhere, but also in the description, I was corrected from overcomplicating this entire process. I was going to set up a circus of water physics. <laughs> yeah. Check out his channel if you wish to create a similar scene. It is not as it's not my place to walk through this and he does a wonderful job. Of course, this is only one of many ways to get an ocean. I do intend to try maybe one other after this to try a different angle and to kind of compare styles. This flow seems to be make a base, establish basic desired texture, bake, make a second base, establish texture that fulfills what the last one did not, Bake again. Check to see if happy with the result, create what will actually be rendered, and then incorporate the data from the two previous bakes, add further detail, set up a camera, spend some attention to the timeline for animation, and render. Things that I learned while doing this, Control T brings up very helpful detail panels in the shader window. It was my first time using graph mode in the timeline to animate, and I will be doing so more often. So much control. There is an ocean setting. Period. Like I said, I was originally going to go through a circus of setting up water physics. Yeesh. Though I might still try that. Um, and that brings us to what comes next. A final decision needs to be made as to what game to dive into next. Then we can start to roll out the creation of our own monsters and things that could be long in that world. What we look forward to. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening comes into the 20th century. Dun, 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 dun. Epic Games has a weekly free game promotion. Next week, they are being a bit more cryptic than they have in the past, showing only a Batman collage as a thumbnail with question marks for a description. And that is all there is in the notes. As things roll out, were you hyped for those releases? Did it satisfy or did it disappoint? Do you think Fortnite will ever dip below 10 in viewership on Twitch.tv? What game should I add to my focus list? Let us know in the comments below. And that's it for the week. Signing off.
Now what is going on with this stupid camera?